Hello everybody, Cray Spart here, and today I'm going to share my thoughts on all the happenings that is in the world of Halo right now. Uh, I know, I am just a little bit upset. I'm not happy uh, about this, um, because this is stupid. Let's see. Uh, recently, you guys have probably have seen it, Ready Up Live put out an open letter to 343, and had some interesting professionals on there, uh, and they shared their opinions as to a what was happening, um, kind of why stuff was happening, and um, I personally thought it was a really well done uh, video. Uh, very well done, no crazy over the top, just blaming one thing over another. It was actually fairly well done, and I do agree most of it, I think, with uh, the professionals' opinions that were on that video. And then we had somebody and put out a tweet that basically said, um, and I'm sure you guys will probably know this, uh, but basically said, uh, "Casuals, uh, go play campaign. Leave the leave the multiplayer <laughs> to the mo to the professionals." Huh? Because we get paid to do this, so we so this is our turf. <sighs> yeah, yeah, that made me more than a little upset, and I don't know why. Because well, I, I do, I do kind of know why. Because Halo to me is not just a game; it is definitely a once. It's it's a pretty unique experience online. There's very few things that are very similar to it, and I absolutely love it. I'm going to continue to play it. Um, I do take breaks every now and then, but I always come back to Halo. Always. Always, always, always. Because I absolutely just love playing Halo. I love getting that gunfight and beating that somebody, whoever it was, and, uh, and uh, it's just a straight-up gunfight, and that's fun to me. I really enjoy that. And Halo itself, and 343, and I'm going to say in particular Josh Holmes, really helped um, help me and my wife get through a really hard time. And actually, we're still going through that hard time. But I think that's just part of the passion of it, is that we really want, well, at least I do. I don't think my wife cares too much, but... <laughs> when it comes to this uh, but we want a game a halo game that is good for everybody and that's just just period good for professionals and good for casuals because the best halo games out there have always had that they had this awesome professional side and then and they had these incredible abilities for the uh, casuals just to create stuff and have fun and and make their own stuff and just have fun with the Halo game with the tools that they were given. And that's just what's always been amazing because Halo is not the professional community. It's not. The professional community is part of the Halo community. And we do have to respect that. We do. Their opinions do matter in that aspect. However, so does everybody else's. Because I guarantee you, I guarantee you that the professionals are not going to be out there doing the foraging. They're not going to be out creating maps. They're not going to be out there um, creating new game types and new ways to play. So let's just talk about briefly some of what the casuals in this world or this game have created. Um, let's see. Uh, anybody hear this game type they had? came back came out in about Halo 2's days infection yeah there's no official game type they just made honor rules it's like every time you die you just got to uh, switch teams ah yeah yeah casuals let's see uh, anybody hear this company called rooster teeth yeah they made this uh, game or game type called grift ball yeah more casuals you can't tell me that you're going to ever see a, <laughs> one of those people uh, at a, at a uh, professional tournament and uh, doing well. Um, it's just not going to happen. Uh, let's see. How about the people that create the Rube Goldberg machines? 
and put hours and hours and hours and hours into making those and then just just so we can watch it because it's just amazingly fun to watch these little things happen in Halo or create the sumo wrestling with warthogs or racing or uh, there's just so much there's just so much the the professional community is important but it's just such a small part it really is when it comes to Halo, the professional community is just a small part. I absolutely believe, for me, for me, this is my belief, is that the Halo games that we need, and I kind of want to get into this a little bit more in depth, and when I'm not quite so upset, is the Halo games that uh, I think we need is one that is based around both. Uh, one is it's built with a professional mindset, you have your, your weapons are well tuned and maps are well uh, well created and, and just balanced um, overall and that's what we need that's what we need we do need that however the casual side the the custom side we need the custom abilities to create stuff I want to play an oddball game where we have an oddball create it gives you points but actually having kills gives you points or adding uh, assassinations gives you three points or you know I just want the abilities I want the to have my own settings and create what I want to create and have my own game types and just have fun with the tools that they are given us I think one of the things that I mean I could be wrong I could be wrong I don't know these these professionals personally um, but I could be wrong but I think the biggest thing is that they don't can't uh, sit back and enjoy Halo for Halo. Uh, it's Everything's got to be as, as hardcore as possible. Then yeah, absolutely. I am going to uh, jump in and play the campaign because the campaign has always been my thing. I've always loved the campaigns in Halo. I haven't been too impressed with the last couple games, but well, with the exception of Halo Wars 2 because that was just amazing. And look at that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just got teabagged. Oh wait, uh, that was a casual having fun. Eh, I'm not gonna fault him for that. I'm just not, you know. Uh, that's just what, it just irritates me so much that such a small part of the community thinks that they have the, the key to the greatest Halo ever and they unfortunately, they do not. They have part, a very small part. It is, like I said, it is important. But so is everything else, man. That's what always made Halo so great to me. Is it was a game that you played how you wanted to play it. Yeah, you have your base game types and Slayer and Capture the Flag and Assault and Oddball. And, but you played it how you wanted to play it. You weren't set in stone as to uh, what you were playing. And that's so unique. At least in my opinion, I haven't really come across anything else that is so unique in this aspect that you can do this stuff. You can go in there, you can have fun, you can create your own settings. It just, it's so, like I said, just so much fun. People took the settings of, of all the game types, and that's what's really kind of upsetting about Halo 5 is that they're so, it's lacking in a lot of that. It, it really is. And that's because I think the pendulum swung too far to the right, where we just have too much on the competitive side and not enough casual. Because there has to be a happy medium somewhere. There has to be a happy medium. Um, I think Halo 4 was, uh, to me, was a fun game. I enjoyed it, but it was, it was by far, without a doubt, it was set too far to the casual side, and then. Uh, Halo 5 went the complete other way, where it's just way too far on the competitive side. But anyways, guys, thanks for listening to my rant. I'm sorry about this, but I just really felt like putting this out there. Um, somewhere we got to find a line. And if you get the chance, watch Lagundo's video. Really well done. All right, thanks, guys. This is Crazed. I'm out of here. Like and subscribe.